all so I'm back to share with you it being close to about a month and me using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation which looks like this. Um, the color I have is number 865 and 20 and I'm going to turn this around so you can see. It's number 865 and 20 and um let, let, let me tell you about this foundation because I've been using it pretty much religiously and I know in my first video I kind of said I really wasn't feeling it and you know to me it's not like it's just like any other foundation well your girl may have to retract her statements um this foundation first of all um if you just now watching this for the first time and you didn't see my other video, you you may want to check my first video in which I'm going to put a link down below in the description box so you can click quickly watch that and then come back and see this video. But to the many that have already seen the first video, let me get right into this foundation with you guys. I love it. I love it. And let, I will go and tell you why I love it. Now, on the back of the packaging, right, it says all day flawless coverage. Glam Dolls, I have to agree with this. And let me tell you, I had this makeup on now for about, oh gee, um, about nine and a half, close to ten hours, okay? I put this makeup on early this morning, and it looks the same as I applied it as what you're seeing right now, practically ten hours later. And it didn't go nowhere. It didn't streak, it didn't fade, I didn't have to touch anything up. So when the packaging says all day flawless coverage, that is absolutely true, okay? I, I'm looking at, anytime I'm not looking at this camera, at you, trust me, I'm looking in this mirror. And I am, I am just, I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. Now, also it says, lasting power of a primer. Now, like I told you in my first video, I don't use primers. So I, I can't really, um, you know, compare if it works like a primer. But if the goal of a primer is to allow your makeup to stay put, you know, or, you know, so it don't run or fade or whatever, then that is absolutely true, which goes along with the all-day flawless coverage that I said. Um, I applied this, and what, oh, what I will tell you is, as you apply this foundation, it kind of dries quickly, so you have to work it in pretty fast as you're applying it. And even once you finish applying this foundation, it does give you a mattifying Finish. So if you're looking for a foundation that's going to give you um, a dewy, glowy looking um, complexion or like next to moist skin, no, this isn't going to do it. This will give you a nice mattifying finish in which I call my winter finish because during the winter months, I really like for my skin pretty much to look like how you're seeing it. Pretty much matted. Yeah. Um, also, it says coverage of a concealer. I have to stand firm. When I say no, okay, no, 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 no. It does not give you coverage of a concealer because even my little problem areas, I still had to use my concealer and then I applied the foundation and then it looked that much better. Um, blendability of a foundation in one, yes, I can agree to that. But shine free, mm-mm-mm, shine free, mm-mm, mm-mm-mm, no. No, Glam Dolls. You, you know, if you watch my other video, you should know what I'm about to say. I don't trust any foundation that will tell me shine free, oil free, whatever free. Uh uh. Because for me, I know I have oily skin, okay? And I use Milk of Magnesia before I apply my liquid foundations. And like I said, if I'm not looking at you, I'm looking in this mirror because I'm, I'm really loving this foundation. But let me get back on track. I always use my Milk of Magnesia to control my oily skin before applying any type of liquid foundation. And um, in my first video, like I said before, if you want to see how that works or whatever, you will see me using that as I applied this, applied this foundation so you can see how it blend and worked itself in. But like I said before, this does seem to seep into your pores pretty fast. So if you do have large pores, then, yeah, you probably would need to use, I uh, guess, a primer or some kind of pore filler before you use the foundation because it will show. So, let me say that. Um, aside from that, when I did apply this foundation, I, I didn't even have to use face powder over it. I didn't use no powder to set my face. Because mm -mm, I didn't need it. So, that foundation, you know, 3-in-1, it should be 4-in-1 because it gives you a nice mattifying finish. You don't need to use a powder to set your face afterward. And um, I'm loving it. I, I'm looking in the mirror. I am 
am really digging this foundation. So, yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to come back and share this with you guys because I also see that the views got a little high. So I was like, well, geez, you know, I didn't expect that. And perhaps these people that watch the first one, they probably want to see an update about the second one. And it is holding up fabulously. And I only paid $11.99 for it. So it is definitely worth the buy. And two things I tell you on my channel. The first thing I tell you is you are the brand that's being advertised. So always make sure you advertise yourself correctly. And after almost 10 hours in this makeup, yeah, yeah, I advertised myself correctly today. And the second thing I tell you is knowledge is never mine to keep. And what I know, I'm always willing to share with you guys. And this is what I'm saying that I know. CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. It is worth the buy. So that's it. I'm going to get out of here and finish my evening. I got to wash my face off so I can get into bed and get on with my day for tomorrow. Um, in case anyone might be wondering what color lipstick I'm wearing today. Um, it is by Brucci, which looks like this. And the color is um, number nine. And it's called Almond Matte. And matte as in M-A-T-T-E. And... Uh, I'm really liking it. And for $3, your girl really like it. And I got it from, you know, like my little local um, drugstore. Uh, I, I think it was Dwayne Reed or maybe Walgreens. Either way, Dwayne Reed, Walgreens, CVS, all of them will have it. Um, once again, it looks like this in the gold and black packaging. Um, it's called Brucci. And the number it's number nine. And the color I have is Almond Matte. And I think it gives me a nice neutral lip. So... That's it. That's it. No more talking. Let me get out of here. I will see you guys again in another vid shortly. Later, babes.